Hello guys, if you ask AI model to generate a web project for you and you don't specify the technology, the language and the framework, have you ever wondered which it would choose? As you can see on the screen, I asked AI, I asked ChatGPT, I also asked Claude and others, and majority of them choose React.js with Next.js specifically as the first option. But today I want to talk about the second option that ChatGPT specified is Laravel PHP framework. And yes, I'm biased, I'm a Laravel developer myself, but I will show you two reasons why Laravel is a good choice for agentic coding in general. Reason number one is stable syntax since like 2018 or something. The core MVC principles of database management, eloquent controllers and routes, they haven't changed for a while. So framework is releasing new tools, new syntax, additional options, but the core is stable, which is very important for AI to have consistent code patterns generated. And let me show that to you with an example. So here's the prompt to create a Laravel API with posts, column, title, and post text. And I've tried the same prompt in Cloud Code, in Codex CLI, and in Cursor with the new model Composer 1. And let me show you the results of that prompt. So first, Cloud Code did the job in roughly three minutes. And if we try to launch that API endpoint in Postman API client, it actually works. So it's one shot from Cloud Code. But what I want to emphasize is stability of the code. So I will show you cloud code and then I will show you the other two. So route to controller, then in controller, it's using API resources. In the API resources, it's returning the data. Then there are validation files for validation rules. Then eloquent model with fillable fields, migration with two fields, database seeder for post cedar with those fake posts and yeah that's it nine files changed working solution let's try other agents now i will try open ai codex with gpt5 codex with the same prompt okay codex is done in roughly three minutes as well it's just that it didn't launch php artisan migrate seed because i didn't have that automated so we can launch that manually in separate terminal success and again if we launch that api endpoint same endpoint we send and we have the results so it's also one shot working and if we took a look at files generated see also nine files almost identical a bit different maybe the formatting maybe a bit different details for like dog blocks preferences routes are almost identical or even fully identical post resource also similar maybe it's just different preferences for formatting the date times but yeah see this is what i mean laravel structure is stable for ai models even without additional guidelines if you just prompt with a few details knowing the laravel database structure and files then it's a big shot that the result will be in one shot so finally, let's revert those changes, discard all changes, and try Composer 1 within Cursor. And side note, I have all three subscriptions. By the way, I use Cloud Code, Codex, and Cursor, depending on the task. So let's see what Cursor Composer 1 does for us. And here you will see the staggering speed of that model. So I will start the timer, but probably it will be like within one minute or something i imagine so yeah it's doing the same thing completed seven out of seven to do's and yeah the result is done within 30 seconds i recently had a video about composer one versus other models like haiku and grok code so the speed is blazing fast if we take a look at the results we have 10 files instead of nine so what extra did it generate? Oh, it separated post cedar into post cedar and post factory as well. So the code of that factory is here. So factory is additional 10th file by cursor, but generally migration is the same, model is same fillables, controller identical. And if we again launch migrations successful, let's try the API. In Postman, we send and we have the results. So all three one shot at that prompt. So this was my first reason why I use Laravel. In many cases, the core of the framework is so stable that no matter what model you use and no matter what context you give, additionally, AI agents are really good with that. 
And also, even in terms of popularity, Laravel within PHP is so popular with so many examples online, including my own Laravel Daily Com website with a lot of tips. So AI models are well trained on Laravel as well. And another reason why Laravel is good for agentic coding is the package Laravel Boost, first party package by core Laravel team. It helps by providing additional guidelines of the whole Laravel ecosystem of packages and even related packages and allows to include your own custom guidelines on top. So let me quickly show you the best part of Laravel Boost after you do Compose require installing that and then do PHP Artisan Boost install, then it will allow you to choose the IDE, the editor that you work with, because there are different guidelines, syntaxes and file names for different IDEs. So that's why there's a choice of IDEs locally, I have all of them installed. So that's why it's all checked automatically and open code is pretty recent addition to that list. So you choose what you want. And then another choice would be which guidelines to generate. And for example, let's choose all of them. Then it detects the MCP server for Laravel Boost, which helps to get the latest documentation when needed. But also look at the list of what Laravel ecosystem packages were included in the guidelines. And those guidelines, if we look at the changes, look what Boost has generated Agents MD, Claude MD, Cursor MCP JSON, Cursor Laravel Boost, rules for MDC copilot instructions, guidelines for Juni. And for example, if we take a look at Claude MD, this is one file, a few hundred lines of code, including guidelines for specific versions that Boost detected in your Laravel project. And there's a long set of instructions how those tools should be used. So PHP rules, PHP 8 or specific version rules, then Laravel core rules and so on. So this is a massive help on top of default Laravel, how the newest versions or specific versions in your project of Laravel packages work and what code should be generated with agents. So yeah, all that relatively long video is to show you that Laravel is a very good choice if you want to create a web project or API project using help of AI agents. And if you haven't started with Laravel, of course, I'm biased here. Again, I have laraveldaily.com website and I have a course, but free course, no membership, no payment required. There's a free course for beginners, Laravel 12 from scratch, both video and text. So I will link that in the description below if you want to start your first project with Laravel and then adopt it to your AI agentic projects. What do you think? Have you tried Laravel with AI or what other web frameworks you prefer and why? Let's start the discussion in the comments below. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.